Do you know that this October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month? If you were to read anything in the paper, you would know all of the cybersecurity lapses that have happened, exposing millions of people's social security numbers, place of work, date of birth, all pertinent information. And in this ever-increasing Internet of Things world where we're interconnected, cybersecurity is of the utmost importance. So, now that you know the importance of cybersecurity, what does project management have to do with that? Well, quite a lot. You have to understand that cybersecurity relies on a lot of tools, techniques, and methodologies to make sure that the right people get the information and the wrong people stay out. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the seven reasons why you should use project management for cybersecurity. So number one, plan risk management. That's what cybersecurity is all about minimizing or completely eliminating any risk when you use anything on your app, your laptop, even at work when you have your identity card that you either stick in your computer or you get past the desk. It can also be banking. That's what cybersecurity is about. And every cybersecurity analyst has a risk management plan. Well, here in the government is NIST, which is National Institute Standard of Technology, 800 and there's other risk management frameworks but that's how you plan risk management so that's the first reason to use project management the second reason is to identify risk risk identification is very important when you're looking at bad actors that could potentially do harm that will either compromise the system and or cost a lot of money and undo damage, reputation, and financial to a company or any type of organization. That's something that project management can help cybersecurity analysts do. So identifying risk is number two. Number three is qualitative risk analysis. So for instance, qualitative means like colors, high, medium, and low. And if you do anything in insurance or any type of actuary or risk industry, you know that they do a lot of qualitative risk analysis, which is low, medium, and high risk. You've seen the threat assessments, the charts, and that's the same thing with cybersecurity. They use a lot of qualitative analysis to rate people, things, opportunities, incidences, and events as either low, medium, or high risk. So the third one is qualitative risk. Number four is quantitative risk analysis. So now that you have your high risk at a qualitative score, you're going to do more evaluations to see how much the will those high level events cost you and the probability of occurrence. Well, yes, that's statistics, But project management does have statistical sampling, and that is an area that cybersecurity analysts can use by applying project management towards increasing the efficiency. Think of it this way. If you were for Homeland Security or any other type of security um, agency where you have to protect information and people, then you want to know the percentage that's a likelihood or something would happen. And that's what quantitative risk analysis is. The probability or the chance of something happening and how much money or loss that you can receive if it were to happen. So number four for project management and the reason you should use it for cybersecurity is to perform quantitative risk analysis. Number five, plan risk responses. If anything were to happen, or not happen and you were to avert it, you need a planned risk response. For those who don't know, 90% of any project manager's job is communication. And a planned risk response is communication. And as I mentioned before, what if you were to intercept or avert a potential threat? You were to quarantine it. You would have official communication, a planned risk response. Maybe it's a press release that says, this is what happened. This was intercepted. We quarantined the threat and we caught the bad actors. Well, that is a planned risk response. It's how you responded to a threat that was averted. And that's the number five reason to use project management for cybersecurity. Number six is implement risk responses. As I mentioned before, you're going to implement your response to risk. 
continuing with the averted crisis, you're going to do a lessons learned. You're going to see um, what departments could have been hit and you roll it out first in the department or throughout the agency, what have you. But implementing risk responses, that's another way of implementing and using project management for cybersecurity. And then finally, number seven, you monitor risk. Cybersecurity like project management is not a one-time event thing. It's not isolated either. And so the only way to get good and to stay on top of cybersecurity and all of the new threats that come day by day is by monitoring them. Well, applying that to project management, they also have another way to monitor risk. And so number seven is using project management to monitor the potential risk, like what we were doing with the qualitative in step three, what if something that was low risk got moved up to high risk? Then that's something that requires further risk analyses, risk responses, and monitoring. As I mentioned, cybersecurity is not one and done. It's not static. It's dynamic. Well, project management is also a dynamic discipline. And that's another reason and the seventh reason why you monitor risk. So those are the seven reasons why you should use project management for cybersecurity. This October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month. I wanted to give you a new perspective on different tools, methodologies that you can use and how even though you may not have thought of this, project management is very integral towards cybersecurity and another way on how you can apply project management principles to different disciplines. My name is Carl R. Jenkins, certified project management professional, certified scrum and idle with 13 years problem solving experience in project management, big data and IT service management. Thank you. Mm -hmm.